it's time to cool it down. We all have a responsibility to do that. The rhetoric is way too hot. I agree fully that we need to tamp down political rhetoric. Everyone needs to turn the rhetoric down. Voices across the political world asked for calm in the immediate aftermath of Donald Trump's assassination attempt. But there was blame, too. I do believe that Joe Biden is responsible for the shooting. Everyone who has called him a fascist, everyone who has called him a threat to democracy, who said that he should be put in a bullseye, as Joe Biden said, uh, they need to have some very deep reflection. Other prominent Republicans like Ohio Senator J.D. Vance and Congressman Steve Scalise blame the shooting on rhetoric from Democrats. California Democrat Eric Swalwell wondered why a registered Republican would fire at the party's candidate. A staffer for Mississippi Democrat Betty Thompson posted the gunman needed shooting lessons. The staffer was later fired. Authorities have yet to identify a motive for the shooter, but it rarely matters on social media where there's a constant drumbeat of 24-7 rage to try and attract eyeballs to someone's point of view and vilify the other side. The presence of social media and also a, um, a divided news media landscape more generally has contributed to the, to the heat that we hear in so much of the rhetoric now. George Washington University political scientist Stephen Livingston says it would take a complete reversal of course to really cool things off. There are too many institutions with incentives to actually uh, keep the rhetoric up, if not turn it up even more. And by institutions, I mean everything from various news organizations to political parties. The former president told two reporters that he had a tough speech prepared for the RNC this week, but he's since ripped it up to write a new one focusing on unity. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Galka.